forgot an iron. Ah. Hello, and welcome to my floor. Today we are gathered here on my carpet to take a moment of silence for my old backpack. You were good to me. You lasted four terrible, terrible years in high school. But it is finally time for my old backpack to pass. Yeah, my old backpack is dead. He died. I was just living my life on campus and the zipper just zooked and he's dead. So I got a new backpack. Here it is. She's cute. I love her. And today I thought that I would try my best to make this backpack feel as special as my old backpack, even though it's not even close to as special. Sorry, dude, you're just like not there. You didn't go like all across the world with me. By adding a bunch of patches to it, maybe that would help. But before we get into my backpack, I'm very, 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 very happy to finally be able to tell you guys about my new merch. <laughs> Let me get a t-shirt. Oh. Yay! So cute! Oh my god! I finally made new merch. I know that ever since the first t-shirt release, you guys have been asking for new merch, and I just wanted to make sure that I did a really, really good job. And I think we did. We worked super hard on it. There are three shirts, and they're only going to be sold during the summertime. Two of them are two new summertime colors with the drawing that I did of the sleeping girl on it. They're really fun. I wanted to make colorful ones for the summer because I like to wear a lot of color during the summer. <laughs> that was weird. And the third one is the ringer tee. I'm really excited about this one. We worked super hard on it. Of course I drew everything. I love drawing for the t-shirts. It's like my way of having my creative outlet. I really like this one because it really means a lot to me. Basically it's like a welcome sign t-shirt. It's kind of an introduction to the EP that we're releasing. It's like a welcome to this world that I'm going to be talking about with the EP release. It's really freaking cute too. In Texas and I think all across the US when you're driving and when you're driving into to small towns on the side of the road they always have these like welcome signs that are like welcome to blah 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 middle of nowhere it always has some kind of quote and always has like a exit now type of thing and I kind of wanted to make like a play on that it's just really cute and I really love ringer tees and this shirt means a lot to me and I can't wait to wear it because I get to wear it now because it's not a secret anymore <laughs> if you'd like to buy the merch you can buy it on conangray.com we worked so hard on the website I collected like all these scraps and photos that I had of me and my friends um even if you don't want to buy a shirt Sure, visit the website just because it's really cute and we worked really hard on it I think everything turned out super good and I'm just really proud I'm really proud I think this is like something that I've really been working on and, and I think everything turned out super good if you'd like to buy a shirt buy one if you don't want to that's totally fine it's up to you I really wanted to make a summer t-shirt collection I feel like every single there's a feather in the air Caught it. I feel like every single summer I have like a t-shirt like a summer t-shirt that when I look at it ever again I'm like, oh that reminds me of that summer and I really wanted to make a shirt that was like gonna be your summer t-shirt I hope that you guys like them. They're gonna be sold just for the summer So if you want one, I would get one before they run out and I'm just really happy Thank you so much for even liking the first merch because I wouldn't be able to do the second release if it wasn't for you guys Really liking the first one and this release is just super special for me and I think they're perfect for the summer I love them ah, ah. Okay, <laughs> I'm just so excited. Ah, I can't believe I can finally talk about this ah, talking ah Secrets. I love summer. That's enough about the merch. I'm just really excited about it. Today, we are going to try to make this backpack feel special. Basically, I had this vision of just adding like crap tons of patches onto this backpack because this is a backpack that's gonna kind of live with me for the next four years. My last one lasted four years and I wanna just make it feel like my own. I've already kind of started. I added this Texaco patch because Texas forever. You can take the boy out of Texas, but you can't take the Texas out of the boy. That's what they say. So there's a Texaco patch here. There's also a Goodyear patch that I tried to attach with this glue and it didn't work and it turned all weird and yellow. So I think I'm gonna have to like fix that somehow. And then on this side, there is a Jurassic Park security officer patch. I love Jurassic Park so much. My dream car is a Jeep because they remind me of Jurassic Park. I used to know how to play the theme song on piano. I forgot, but I used to know, I promise. I don't lie, I don't do that. I've been collecting patches over kind of like the past couple weeks. I got this NASA one that's super cute. Another NASA one that's super cute. I love space. Space is amazing. Another NASA one that came in a set. I didn't buy these all individually. And then this American flag one, which I don't know if I want to put it on because it kind of makes me feel weird. We'll see. 
if it matches. And then also I got this UCLA one at the UCLA store and it's cute. I'm just excited. I want so many patches on this that when I walk by, people will be like, wow, that kid has a lot of patches. What's wrong with him? I want that. All these patches I think are iron-on, so I hope that everything goes right. I just kind of want to make this feel like home. We should probably plug this in somehow. Potentially you need to plug in an iron for it to work. Ah, it's not hot yet, Conan, calm down. I'm sorry, plant. You good? He good. I've had a very tough time attaching these patches to this backpack. It's been a journey, but I think I figured out how to do it. First, I need a book. My book of choice is Yes, Please by Amy Poehler, just because it's the right size. Thanks, Amy. I've been feeling super, super homesick lately. All my friends at UCLA are back home for the summer. I feel foolish for complaining about it, but I think that moving to LA had a much bigger impact on me than I really ever let myself kind of take in. When I moved here, I just like went straight to school. So I like moved here and I was like classes, 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 work, 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 work. And then I just like didn't ever really give myself time to be like, hey Conan, you just moved from a tiny town in the middle of Texas to a very, very large city. It's going to be confusing. Maybe take some time to chill. I never gave myself that. So this is kind of the first time that I've been like, whoa, I live here. It's an odd feeling. The city is interesting because you're surrounded by so many people all the time, but it's also just a very lonely place because everyone kind of lives in their little bubble. I haven't been too lonely lately. I've been working a lot, so I see a lot of like people throughout the day. And I've been hanging out with my friends on the weekend weekends, but my friends kind of live far away, so it's always kind of a trek. But I've just been feeling really homesick, and I think a lot of you guys are about to move out, or just moved out, and you guys always ask me kind of how the transition was, and I'm not gonna lie, the transition was really tough. I think that this is hot. Shall we put a patch on? I think I want to put this NASA patch right here. I think it would fit very well. Fits kind of perfectly. It's cute. To put a patch on a backpack, you put something hard inside the backpack. Back. Like Yes Please by Amy Poehler. Smush. Basically, you have to like make the bottom of your backpack like as taut as possible. Sometimes you gotta take all the crap out. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. There's a lot of crap in my backpack already. Flatten. Please work. I'm gonna be so upset if it doesn't. Okay. Iron is on medium. Heat, we press. Ow, hot, I just burned myself. <laughs> I'm so stupid. That did nothing. I think it takes time. You just kinda gotta press it for a while. Oh, that kinda worked, that kinda worked. Okay, wait, wait, wait. I think it needs to be hotter. When I first moved to LA, it really like, it really affected me. It was really tough. And I still, to this day, almost a year later, don't really completely feel at home in the city, which is why I go back home to Texas all the time. Are you attached? I feel like it's attached. It's very hot, that's for sure. I think moving out is like almost a traumatic thing. It brings like so much freedom into your life, but it also makes you realize like how much you really did love your hometown, no matter how much you thought you hated it. Moving out is like, it makes you kind of lose this sense of safety that you have as a kid. When you're a kid, you feel so invincible. You feel like nothing bad could ever happen to you, but moving out is like, oh my God, when you get sick, you're just alone and like no one's gonna spoon feed you chicken noodle soup. <laughs> Yay, it's working, it's working really well. Ow, hot. Hey Conan, you know what, calm down. Just let it cool down. I'm the type of person that if like my food is hot, I'll just eat it and suffer with inner mouth burns. Calm down. I want to look like a boy scout by the end of this. What is this small thing in this pocket? Ah uh, yes, a gum wrapper. I would say the best thing when you first move out is see if you can go home. I know that like going home all the time definitely isn't an option for everyone, especially if you move like super, super, super far away. See if you can go home. It kind of reminds you that the place that you left is still there and it's still exactly the same. And also don't isolate yourself. I think when I first moved out, I kind of got thrown into doing so much that I like didn't really have time to like talk to my friends back home and it made me feel like I lost something, like I lost my past life. But in in reality, my past life is right there. It's, it's in Texas, it's there, everything's exactly the same, all the people are exactly the same, and it's not gone, I can go back anytime. And that was something that really helped comfort me. That transition though, like moving from a small town to a big city is, it's crazy. It's so hard, and it really sucked, to be very honest. It really sucked for, you know, the first, I would say, 
three or four months. And even now, it's like I, I live in LA, but it does. I don't really feel like an LA person. I don't think I ever will. And I don't plan on living in LA forever. I definitely want to like move back to somewhere very suburban and like raise my kids and, and just kind of have a very normal non-LA life once I get older. But at the same time, I really have grown to really like the city. LA to me feels very much like it's my thing. NASA patch has been attached. I think I'll put on UCLA next. Yeah, I don't feel much like an LA kid, but I definitely, definitely feel like a UCLA kid. I feel like a UCLA kid to the core. I love UCLA so much. The UCLA area feels like my space, my stomping ground. I know all the coffee shops, I know all the best grocery stores, I know everything here, and it feels very familiar. I thought that it would never feel familiar, but now it's just very, very comfortable. Where should I put this guy? Maybe like, yeah, I think maybe like up here. Mm. Oh, maybe I'll put this, yeah, I'll put this one over here. One thing I'm learning a lot about the music industry as I've been making this EP is that it's actually like super, super, super tiny. Everyone knows each other and it's really nice because I feel like I didn't really have like a family here in LA. The music industry really is like a little family and, and it feels really nice. I'm excited to put out this music. I promise it's coming. You know, all the, all the merch and all the sponsorships and all the stuff that I do, all that money goes to the EP. I'm working super hard on it and I know sometimes it feels like it's just like never gonna come out, but I think you promise it will, and I'm just really excited. Merch is just a really fun way for me to be able to fund the EP myself. I'm really independent. I don't like having to rely on other people, so I'm like, I'm gonna make an EP and I'm gonna pay for it myself. And you guys, you know, caring and, and buying the merch and watching these videos and supporting me when I get sponsorships, it, it made that possible. It made me being able to make an EP myself a reality, and it's very, very special to me, and I am not gonna cry. That's not happening. Not today, Satan. I know I thank you guys like all the time, but like I really want you guys to know that like my life when I was living in my hometown, it wasn't good. Um, it was pretty tough. I had a lot of things happen to me that I didn't talk about and I don't know when I'm gonna talk about them. And you guys really saved me and you didn't really realize it just by being your wonderful selves. I was at VidCon this past weekend. I was at my meet and greet and so many people were like thanking me. And I was like, why are you thanking me? Like I didn't do anything, like you did everything. It's just crazy. Let's put a patch on before I get too emotional. <laughs> That's how I deal with my problems. I'll just slap a patch on it. Ah, why are you steaming, dude? Bruh. Ah, oh. Okay. Ow, hot. <laughs> yeah, I keep burning myself. I want to have tons of patches on this. I want to look like a space explorer. I feel like a space explorer. I don't know why I can't say that. So maybe I'm not a space explorer because I can't really even pronounce it right. Ow, my thumb is burned. Speaking of burns, I have the most ridiculous sunburn right now. Y'all, I am... So sunburned! Oh my god! After VidCon, I went home to San Diego with my best friend Summer because she came to VidCon with me to keep me company because VidCon is very stressful. Silly me was like, let's go to the beach. I want to get tan because my body never sees the sunlight and I hadn't been to the beach in so long. So I was like, I'm not gonna wear sunscreen. Who needs it? I'm half Japanese. I ain't gonna burn. I failed to remember that I'm also half Irish. It was tough. I really burned a lot. And as we are speaking right now, there is skin peeling all off my back. It's really cool, really attractive. It's like, it's like really like comfortable and like not itchy. Your boy burnt as frickle frackle. Your boy look like a tomato. Ah, oh my God, look how cute it is. My plan to look like a Boy Scout I think is totally working. <gasps> it looks so cute. I love Texas. I feel like the UCLA patch like belongs here. You know what I mean? It just like feels like it belongs. So like I'm gonna follow my gut instinct. That's what I do all the time. I trust my gut and this is what it's telling me. I want so many patches on this that like you're not even gonna be able to tell that this backpack is blue. It's a Jansport by the way. Jansport makes great backpacks. Very sturdy, but I just like wanted it to be cuter, so I just tore off the Jansport part and added a, a patch on top because it was cuter. Ha, 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 ha. I really like to personalize my stuff. I think it's the best way of making myself feel like something is mine. My one qualm about this backpack is it doesn't have a freaking water bottle holder. So I just have to stick my water bottle in my backpack, which is fine, but it's just like water's so important. And if I don't see my water bottle, then I forget that I'm supposed to be drinking water. You're not good enough. How you holding up? Yes, please by Amy Polar. For anyone moving out, my heart goes out to you. It's really 
really tough, but I did it and everything is okay. I have my bad days, I have my good days, I have my really good days where I feel super loved in the city and I have all my people and I'm like, wow, I live in the city and it's so amazing and there's so much to do. And I have my days where like, I wish I was back home. Don't expect you to just be able to like snap and like get into the groove. Moving out was my dream and I was expecting it to kind of like fix everything, but it didn't. It's a process. I know plenty of first years at college who said they hated the place where they moved for the whole entire first year. And I know people who it took like three or four years for them to like really love their town. It's a process and it's gonna take a while, but it'll be okay. Everything always ends up being okay. I've been in a lot of sticky situations, but it always ends up being okay somehow. I don't really understand it, but it's always okay. Look, it's so cute. Oh my God. Oh my gosh. I want so many patches. I don't know if I'm gonna do the America patch. It makes me feel like, a, like I'm in the military and I'm not in the military. So it like kind of feels offensive. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna do, oh, that's, yeah, okay. Sorry, America. Sorry, America, you kind of suck right now anyway, so I don't want you on my backpack. I gotta take my laptop out of here before I stick a hot iron on it. <laughs> Squash. You really need to get the iron on patches if you're gonna do it on a backpack because one, sewing it on takes forever and it's really hard on a backpack because the material on a backpack is usually pretty thick. So try to get the iron on ones because lose to stick them onto the backpack. I've tried a bunch of them and they just didn't work. So iron on was like the best one. It really is sturdy. Do y'all ever get tired of hearing me talk? I'm going back to Texas next week. I'm gonna see Ashley, I'm so excited. <laughs> That's the best way to cure homesickness. Just go home all the time. Just press it for like 10 seconds. Ah, my backpack's so cute. I'm in love with it. I'm so excited for the new merch. It took so long, but it finally happened and it's so cute. And the website's so cute. I feel so happy. <sighs> Okie dokie, done. Okay, I'm gonna stop talking now. Don't forget to unplug your iron afterwards. We don't want no casualties or burnt floors or burnt hands. Thank you, Amy Poehler. Ah, that's not attached at all. Amy Poehler, come back. I don't know why I keep acting surprised that this iron is hot. Of course it's hot. That's what it's supposed to do. I gotta put all my crap back in there. So many chapsticks, so many hair ties, various trashes. I'll just put it under my bed. No one will know. My backpack is all patched up. I'll probably get a lot more patches over the years, so maybe there will be some more patch episodes. I'm excited. I feel like... He's coming along. Thank you so much for listening to me talk for so long. If you'd like to buy some of the merch, the website will be in the description below, but it's pretty easy. It's just conangray.com. And even if you don't want to buy the merch, check out the website. We worked super hard on it, and I think it's really adorable. Tons of cute memories on there. And I'd love to see you in your shirt. So if you buy a shirt, I'd love to see a photo. I just love the thought of all of us wearing the same t-shirt. It's, it's almost like a uniform. Boy Scouts. We're all Boy Scouts. We're all girly Boy Scouts. I think... I need water. My hair, I look like a hair Arnold right now. Anyways, that's that. Thank you so much for watching. I love you so much. I'll see you in one week with a brand new video. God bless and goodbye.